Now let us proceed to mathematics. Number 21. At 25% discount, Miss Santos paid 150.75 pesos for a bag. What was the original price of the bag? Now, madali lang to pag pera ang pinag-uusapan. So, paano natin malalaman yung discounted price? So, we simply multiply, tama po ba, yung discount rate times yung original amount ng object or kung anong binibili natin equals yung discounted price. So, gawin natin siya. Let X be the original price of the bag. So, sabi daw, meron tayong 25% discount. So, yung 25% the discount, e multiply natin sa original price. At magkano na yung presyo? That's 150.75 pesos. Or 150 pesos and 75 cents. Now, paano natin makukuha yung original price? So, we simply divide both sides by 0.25. And therefore, 150.75 divided by 0.25, that is 603. And therefore, that is the original price of the bag. The correct answer here is letter D. Number 22. In how many ways can five basketball players be chosen from a group of nine players? Now, remember, meron tayong combination at saka permutation. Pag sinabi natin permutation, again, order is important. So, mahalaga ang order. Pero pag sinabi natin combination, order is not important. And in this given problem, mahalaga ba si, or si order? No. Order is not important. So, therefore, this is a combination problem. So, anong gagawin natin? Pwede na natin yung madirekta sa calculators natin. So, that's 5C. Uh, sorry, that's 9C5. So, again, 9 choose 5. So, pipili tayo ng 5 from the group of 5. So, papaano ba natin yan? So, just press 9. Then, sa calculators ninyo, just press shift. Tapos, meron sa division bar. So, mag-appear dyan si C. So, we have 9C. Then, press 3. Then, just simply press equals. So, kapag press mo ng equals, may lalabas dyan na value and that is letter A, 126. Next, number 23. The first five numbers in a sequence are 2, 3, 5, 8, and 12. What is the seventh number in the sequence? Now, let's try to observe, let's try to notice the sequence. So, we have 2, 3, 5, 8, and 12. Now, kung ano ma-observe ninyo, paano ba naging 2? From 2 to 3, we simply add 1. Tama po ba? From 3 to 5, we simply add 2. From 5 to 8, we added 3. From 8 to 11, we added 4. So, ibig sabihin, we are adding counting numbers. So, therefore, ano yung i-a-add natin kay 12? That is, plus 5. So, 12 plus 5, that's 17. Plus 6, therefore, 17 plus 6, that's 23. And therefore, 23 is the correct answer. That's letter C. That is the seventh term. Now, let's answer number 24. 15 is 20% of what number? So, technique. So, keywords na lang tayo kung, mag, man, kung nalilito tayo sa percentage problems. Tandaan na lang, kapag nakakita kayo ng is, that's equals. Again, kapag nakakita kayo ng is, that's equals. Kapag off naman, that's multiplication. Again, kapag off, that's multiplication. Kapag nakakita kayo ng what or a number, Let's represent that as variable n. Again, let's represent what or a number by, with variable n. So, let's try to translate this one. So, you have 15 is. Kapag is ulit, that is equals. 20%. So, that's 0 0.20. So, of. That's multiplication. What number? That's letter or variable n. Now, paano natin malalaman or paano natin mahukuha si variable n? 
So simply divide both sides by 0 0.20. So mga cancels is 0 0.20, so you are left with N. 15 divided by 0 0.20, that is 75. And therefore, the number is 75. The correct answer here is letter A. Okay. Number 25. Which of the following has the greatest value? 9 fourths, 7 ninths, 6 over 10, 8 over 12. Now, pag nahihirapan tayo sa fractions, ang mas pinakamadali ng gawin natin is to convert them into decimal. Again, ang the, the simplest way on how we can do this, kung para malaman ko ano yung greatest na number, pinakamalaki yung number, is to convert these fractions to decimals. So let's try to convert them. How do we convert them? Sa calculator, pwede nyo na yan idiretsyo. So just press 9 over 4. Then press equals. Now pagka-press nyo ng equals, meron po dyan S, tapos may do double-headed na arrow, tapos may D. So i-press nyo yun, may lalabas dyan na decim decimal. That's the converted na uh, decimal ng 9 over 4. So therefore, let's convert these fractions. 9 over 4, that's 2.25. 7 over 9, that's 0 0.778. 6 over 10, that's 0 0.6. And 8 over 12, that's 0 0.667. Now, from these given values, what is the largest value? That's letter A, 9 over 4 or 2.25. Number 26, what number is 35 more than 70? So, madali lang ito. So, N is equal to 35 plus 70. So, we simply add 35 and 70. So, that is letter C, 105. If there are 18 strawberries and 45 apples in a fruit basket, what is the ratio of the number of strawberries to the number of apples. Now, ang tinatanong sa atin is the ratio of the number of strawberries to the number of apples. Ilan ulit yung number of strawberries? We have 18. At ilan naman yung number of apples? That is 45. But we can still simplify this. Let's, do this. Let's make this in simplest form. So we can divide both sides by 9. So 18 divided by 9, that's 2. 45 divided by 9, that's 5. So what is the ratio of the number of strawberries to the number of apples? That's 2 is to 5. And the correct answer here is letter A. Number 28. Jeffrey is 5 years older than Sean. 3 years ago, he was twice as old as Sean. How old is Sean now? Now, usually, kapag nagsasagot tayo ng mga word problems, kung sino yung huling nababanggit, siya yung nare-represent natin as X. So, let's create a table. So, kanina, na, yung kanina sino ang nahuling nabanggit? Si Sean. So, let's represent X as Sean's age now. Now, sabi doon, yung edad ni Jeffrey is 3, or sorry, is 5 more than the age of Sean. So, how do we represent that? That's X plus Five. Now, three years ago, pag sinabi natin three years ago, we simply subtract. Pero paano ulit pag three years from now, we simply add. So ang tanong dito, ay, so ang binigay sa atin dito ay three years ago. So therefore, we need to subtract three. So therefore, tingnan natin kay Sean. So that is simply x minus three. Kay Jeffrey naman, that's x plus five minus three Simplifying, that's simply x plus 2. Kasi 5 minus 3, that's 2. Now, sabi, 3 years ago, sabi doon, yung edad daw ni Sean is equal to twice the age of Jeffrey 3 years ago. So, our working equation will be x plus 2 equals 2 times the quantity x minus 3. So, anong sunod nga gagawin natin? We simply distribute Two. So therefore, we have x plus 2 equals 2x minus 6. We have 2 times x, that's 2x. 2 times negative 3, that's minus x. So combining like terms, so we have now x minus 2x 
equals negative 6 minus 6. So simplifying now, we have negative x equals negative 8. Divide both sides by negative 1. Simply, we have x equals 8. Now, anong tanong sa atin? Yung edad ni Sean. So, ito na ba yung edad ni Sean? Yes. So, yung edad ni Sean ay yung x na mismo. So, therefore, ano yung edad ni Sean? That's x equals 8. So, 8 years old na ngayon si Sean. That's letter B. What number can replace x in the proportion 1 is to x equals x is to 64? Now, meron kasi tayong tinatawag ng mean extremes theorem. Anong, tinatawag, anong, anong sinasabi doon sa mean extremes theorem? Now, sinasabi lang nun that the product of the extremes is equal to the product of the means. So, therefore, ito yung ating extremes. Tama po ba? Ito naman yung ating means. So, therefore, let's just multiply them. 1 times 64 is equal to the product of the means. That's x times x. Now, simplifying, we have 64 equals x squared. So, paano natin malalaman si x? We simply square, uh, we simply take the square root, sorry, the square root of both sides of the equation. So, therefore, Square root of 64 equals to the square root of x squared. And therefore, x is simply 8. So therefore, what is x? That is 8. So the correct answer here is letter D. A 3 and 1 half meter rope is cut into 4 pieces. And the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 3 is to 4. Find the length of the longest piece. So anong kinukuha natin? Yung length ng longest piece. This is partitive proportion. Now, i-convert muna natin yung 3 and 1 half meters or 3.5 in terms of centimeters. Kasi naka-centimeters yung lahat ng mga options. So therefore, tandaan natin that 1 meter again is equal to 100 centimeters. So kung meron tayong 3.5 meters, that is 350 centimeters. Meter. So, meron tayo kung gaano kahaba yung rope, that's 350 centimeters. So, kukunin daw natin yung fraction ng part ng longest piece. So, meron tayong ratio na 1 is to 2 is to 3 is to 4. So, sa apat na yon alin doon yung para sa longest piece? That's 4. Tama po ba? Over yung sum non. So, you have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. So, therefore, that's 4 plus 3, that's 7, plus 2, it's 9, plus 1, that's 10. So, yung 4 over 10, that's the fraction of your longest, your, of that longest part. Tama po ba? Fraction yan from the 350 centimeter na rope. So, let's multiply. Therefore, ilan yung, ano yung length ng longest part? That's 140 centimeters. And that is letter B. Number 31. If Charmaine can run 3 kilometers in an hour, how far can she run in 45 minutes? So let's repre represent this one as 3 kilometers is to 60 minutes. So kada 60 minutes or 1 hour, kaya daw ni Charmaine na maglakad or sorry, magrun in 3 kilometers. So that's 3 is to 60 minutes. Bakit siya 60 minutes? Ang 1 hour po, that's 60 minutes. So, ang hinahanap natin dito is the distance na kaya niyang i-travel at 45 minutes. So, let's represent the distance as x. So, again, by means extremes theorem, we simply multiply the extremes and multiply the means. So, therefore, we have 3 times 45 equals 60 minutes times, of course, x kilometers. Para makuha si x, that we divide both sides by 60. So, we cancel out 60. So, therefore, x equals 3 kilometers times 45 minutes divided by 60 minutes. So, we know ma-cancel si, si minutes. Tama po ba? So, we are left with kilometers. So, therefore, what is the distance? That's x equals 2.25 kilometers. And that's letter A. Number, number 32. 7 is 5% of what number? Sige, gawin ulit natin yung technique na tinuro ko kanina. 
So we have 7 is 5% of a number. It translate natin. So we write 7. Pag sinabing is, that is again, equals. Tama po ba? So equals 5%, that is simply 0 0.05. So do not be confused. Pag 5%, that's 0 0.05. Pero pag 50%, that's 0 0.5. Off. So, pag off, that's multiplication of what number, pag what or num a number, that's simply n. So, we divide both sides by 0 0.05 and to get n, we have 7 divided by 0 0.05 and that is simply 140. So, the number is 140 and that is letter D. What would be the value of 2.08 is multiplied by 10 to the 5th power? So you have 2.08 times 10 raised to the 5th power. Now again, pansinin natin, ano yung exponent ni 10? That's positive. So therefore, saan tayo, saan nga gagalawin yung decimal point? To the right. Kasi nga, positive siya. In how many places? 5 places. So therefore, we have 2.08. Nandiyan yung decimal point niya. So, let's move 5 places to the right. So, therefore, we move 5 places to the right. And we add, how many zeros? 3 zeros. And therefore, ilan si 2.08 times 10 raised to the 5th power? That's 208,000. And that's letter A. Number 34. How many hectares are there in a field measuring 980 meter wide and 1,300 meter long. So therefore, what are we going to do to get the area? So we simply, we are giving the length and we are giving the width. So therefore, we just simply multi multiply it. Tama po ba? Area is equal length times width. So therefore, substituting now. So therefore, that's 1,300 meters times 980 meters. That is... 1,274,000 square meters. Kaso, ang tanong sa atin, what is that in hectares? Remember that 1 hectare is equal to 10,000 square meters. So, anong gagawin natin para makuha si hectares? We simply divide 1,274,000 square meters divided by 10,000 square meters. And therefore, what is that in hectares? That is simply 127 Point four hectares. That is letter B. If a letter is chosen at random from English alphabet, find the probability that the letter to be chosen will be after the letter G. Now, ano nga ulit yung probability natin? probability of an event to occur is equal to the number of possible outcomes over the total number of outcomes. Now, ilan ba yung possible outcomes natin? Ilan ba yung letters after G? So, therefore, kung bibibilang natin yung mga letters, so after G, that's H to Z. There are how many letters? There are 19 letters. Over, ilan ba yung letters sa alphabet? That is 26 so therefore, what's the probability? That's 19 over 26.